Hello guys, this is Mark the Geek. Look what I bring you here. This is a look at the demo of Resident Evil. Um, this is a Resident Evil Revelations for the 3DS. I must say that I'm very excited because I'm a very big Resident Evil fan. I played every Resident Evil since Resident Evil 1. And this is now my 3DS, so fanboys, please don't get pissed because I jump chip. I didn't jump chip. I love my Vita. Um, but I must say, I the, um, this is my daughter's 3DS, and that's one of the reasons. This is this game is one of the reasons that she she got it for Christmas. I hope I didn't. I hope she doesn't listen to this video, because <laughs> um, I really, really, really wanted to play this game once it came out. And um, okay, let, let's solve this puzzle. And one thing that I must say about this game that if you got big hands, um, it's gonna be very uncomfortable shooting. Because um, you shoot using the right trigger, you shoot using this trigger, and um, you aim using this trigger, and you shoot using this trigger. So it feels very tight when you're going to shoot. It feels very tight. So let me... Okay, there we go. Solve the puzzle. Um, I bet these puzzles, they're going to get... I'm sorry, I dropped my PS Vita. <laughs> I bet these puzzles are going to get a lot stronger, but um, I must say the graphics, I am impressed. The 2D, I keep this on 2D because the 3D, I notice when you put it's on 3D, the graphics deteriorate a little bit, but when you have it on, when you have it on, on 2D, you can really, really appreciate the, you can actually appreciate the details of all the characters so like right now it's on 2d and she looks gorgeous the graphics looks gorgeous and I and but the thing is that this game is meant to be played with dual sticks just like the PS Vita and um, this game is meant to play with dual sticks and that's the, one of the reasons that the circle pad is coming out for the 3DS when this when this when the Resident Evil game comes out it's because of that they just realized um, that people want dual sticks um, I bet that the next 3DS or the DS or the dual stick DS comes out um, I bet they're gonna come out with dual stick because um, it's going to be awesome for these type of games. And, um, you know, it's a very nice game, I'm telling you. Um, the 3D, I keep it off all the time. The only time I actually turn on the... The only time I actually turn on the the 3D is when there's a, a video. Look at that. Looks very nice. Sh nice shotgun. Uh, the only time I turn on the 3D is when there's a CG video or cutscene they look gorgeous I'm telling you it looks gorgeous with the 3d the 3d on it looks very gorgeous and if you guys seen a lot of reviews um, they everybody um, everybody says that the 3ds that, that this game is actually the best looking 3d game on the 3ds and I must say they are correct I'm actually gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy this game. I'm gonna rent it to GameFly because I really want to play this game, and and I hope I can finish this game before the the new Vita games come out, which is I'm gonna be stuck. I'm gonna be stuck playing those 3D um, Vita games a lot, and I'm gonna be playing a lot of games on the Vita. So let me. Let me let you guys see the comparison of the screen here of the Vita. Sorry, my fingerprints. Um, like you can see here, it's a big, big ass difference when you have those sticks, <laughs> and you can actually control the camera on the 
on the 3DS you can actually do this you can actually control the camera when you have the circle pad um, it feels awesome I've seen videos of the circle pad in action using the 3DS and it looks gorgeous and it looks perfect and you know game for games like this for games like this serious games like this you actually I'm telling you you really need the dual sticks and Sony realized that and they thanks God they came out with the dual sticks I'm bringing I'm showing you a dark scene of the uncharted Drake and like you can see the graphics compared to the 3ds Resident Evil I would say that they look pretty much pretty much the same I'm telling you I've I playing both the game the th I'm, I played the uncharted a lot like like you guys know I finished the game like twice already and I'm going back right now I'm on 77 percent of completion because I've been going back to get the treasures and everything but you can guys you guys can see the difference of the screen very nice the 3ds has a very nice screen but what makes it big is the okay let me switch back to the 3ds because this is the main reason I'm doing this video <laughs> I just want you guys to see okay it locked me out so it ended the game for me so boom <laughs> and so guys um, let me know what you guys think about the PS Vita and the Capcom and the uh, Capcom the Resident Evil game and you know what playing this Resident Evil game on the PS Vita on um, the 3DS I will bet my ass that they gonna release this Resident Evil game on the PS Vita in the future I wouldn't be surprised if they do honestly I wouldn't be surprised and it would be amazing if they release this game on the Vita in this gorgeous screen it would look it would look and play a lot better than on the 3ds simply just because it has real um, dual stick is gonna real dual stick and the shooter buttons the, the buttons are gonna be more comfortable and like I said for this game I recommend everybody if you're gonna buy this game I recommend getting the circle pad for the for the Resident Evil game on the 3ds and like you guys all know monster monster hunter is very big over there in Japan for the 3ds and that game has been confirmed that's gonna come out for the Vita so I wouldn't be that's the reason I wouldn't be surprised if this 3ds um, if this Resident Evil game revelations comes out in the future for the PS Vita and if it does I would I would definitely play it again on the Vita so I could get those trophies um, I'm not saying that they will it will come out but I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out because of the sim the simple fact of the controls are meant to be played with the Vita controls honestly because why would they sell or create a circle pad for the 3DS which looks ugly when it's attached to the 3DS but I've seen this game being played with the circle pad and it it plays beautifully and I, I'm thinking of buying it but I don't want to spend twenty dollars on something that I might not use ever again because the only reason I would be buying it is to play Resident Evil I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be a playing it using it for something else maybe I would get maybe I will get it the circle pad so my daughters can play with it use it for their other games but like I said um tell me guys what you guys think about the um, PS Vita comparison to the to the 3DS and let me know if I'm wrong or right and do you guys think that the three the, the Resident Evil revelations will ever come for the Vita I I I I think it will in the future. I think it will in the future. Who knows? Maybe six months from now it might be confirmed. 
Oh, who knows? Maybe E3, we will see that. We will hear that the PSV, uh, Resident Evil, is going to come to the PS Vita. That would be awesome news because I must say this game looks gorgeous on the on the on this little uh, screen. And that's all, guys. This is all I'm bringing you. Uh, a look at Resident Evil Revelations on the 3DS compared to, to the screen of the PS Vita Uncharted Drake playing on it. Until uh, next time, bye-bye.